microbes surround our lives. Do you know that our human body houses 10 times more bacteria than human cells? In fact, our human survival depends on these so-called good bacteria because they help us digest and metabolize. And it's this coexistence that intrigued me in college. But, but as I journeyed into the world of microbes, my obsession has shifted to studying pathogenic or bad bacteria. We wash our hands with soap, clean our dishes with detergent because we're in constant fear of bacterial infection. But what about the air? We take for granted that we have fresh air to breathe in, but that isn't always the case. In 1976, at the Convention for American Legion in Philadelphia, a mysterious outbreak of severe, severe pneumonia caused 29 deaths. The source of aging came from small contaminated drops of water through the air conditioning system in the subsequent hotel, much like the air we're breathing now. And within this microscopic drop of water lived a bacteria named Legionella. My focus, my focus, uh, my research focus studies how these bad bacteria can coexist in our body as if they're good bacteria to cause Legionnaire's disease. Normally, when bacterial pathogens are swallowed up by ourselves, an arsenal of immune signal is initiated that results in bacterial clearance. However, Legionella is able to create and live happily in the balloon-like structure called vacuole in order to build strength before launching their pathogenic effects. And for my research, I discovered a protein secreted by this bacteria, which enables it to camouflage in this vacuole. The human cell distinguishes between self versus non-self by decorating the membrane of this vacuole with a specific type of lipid, colored in green on the slide, which is a structural component of the membrane, but also a signal for elimination. Turns out this bacterial protein changes its green lipid into another form of lipid, which is a signal, which is a lipid that the cell normally uses to label and mark for its own organelles. Now, instead of being eliminated, it disguises as part of the cell. For my research, I was able to solve this three-dimensional structure of this protein using a technique called X-ray crystallography, which is shown here. And I was able to reveal the mechanism of how it simultaneously binds to the host membrane and lipid at the atomic resolution. Imagine a stranger living in your house disguises your family member <laughs> sleeps on your bed, devours your food, changes the color of your wall, all within 24 hours, and leaves without paying a dime. My research has allowed, uncovered that mask that allowed Legionella to do just that. I hope that by targeting this protein, we may potentially stop their growth in early stage, turn them into harmless bacteria, and eventually cure this disease. Thank you for listening.